Hi, this is Ken Reed, and I'm here in Auckland, New Zealand with the Prada 36th America's Cup. I'm here on behalf of North Sales first and foremost, and I'm one of the commentators for the world feed. My role at North Sales is I'm the president of North Sales and kind of roving, do a little bit of everything person. Going from a sailor to a commentator, I think is a reasonably natural transition, probably as you get older, you just have to look at these boats and to see the athletes and um, the strength and, and finesse of the, the athletes now. And listen, I, I wouldn't trade, I wouldn't trade my cup experiences as a sailor for anything in the world. If you want to stay in the sport, the sport kind of finds different ways to keep you involved. And, and for me, I got lucky and, and I, I, being involved on the TV side is actually terrific. What excites me most about this edition of the America's Cup is nobody's ever seen boats like this before. Nobody's ever seen speeds like this before. My typical day is very long. <laughs> I'm up about 5.30 in the morning and, and have to talk to uh, Europe and North America, try to get a little workout in and also a uh, little breakfast and a lot of coffee in make my way down to the TV compound around 1030 and, you know, ask a bunch of questions. I know a lot of people within all the compounds, uh, so with all, in all the teams, so I'll ask some specific questions and if they can answer and help me out, usually they do. By one o'clock, we're in the booth doing our sound checks. By two o'clock, we're uh, laying down the first five minutes on tape, the first five minutes of the show. And from three to six, we do the show. It's a long time in that booth. I can tell you three hours of nonstop talking is not, it's not truly natural, but it's, uh, it's very cool. The, the TV compound is really unglamorous. It's a bunch of containers. It's not until you open the doors of these containers that, that it is just a world of electronics. It is this crazy world of electronics that, frankly, I know nothing about. Uh, but I love showing people around because I think we're all really proud. It's 110 people that work on the TV show that are just exceptionally good at what they do. If you think of it, the environment and the surroundings that we're working in is is crazy hard. It's It's water and it's outdoors and there's helicopters and boats and it's really the people that do these tv shows are exceptional at what they do what inspires me well first of all is just talking about the sport that i love and i've been doing my whole life and i've been fortunate enough to make a living at but i guess i got some really good advice just have fun with it and tell the story and if if people enjoy it they'll they'll invite you to come back and do it again i guess Getting in the booth is fun. There's, there's nothing to be nervous about. We're working with a guy named Stephen McIver, who is the lead commentator, and he kind of runs the show for us. And uh, Nathan Outeridge, Olympic medalist in the 49er class, two-time skipper for Artemis Racing, uh, one of the best foiling sailors in the world as a commentator right along with us. And then I understand that we're talking to a, a range of, of people watching the broadcast from never sailed before to absolute best in the game. We need to spread out some of this information over the next three and a half months. So if we burn up every single topic in the first three days, we're in trouble for the rest of the time. The goal is to be inclusive rather than exclusive. Nathan Outridge, myself and Stephen McIver sit in a small container full of, uh, full of screens. There is craziness, but somehow you know, Leon Sefton figures out how to put it all together and get a TV show out of it. And then you can't forget, of course, we have the huge advantage of double gold medalist Shirley Robertson out on the water. And uh, boats are moving so fast. How do we keep up? Well, we don't have to keep up. Shirley's got to keep up. She's trying to go 40 plus knots on the water in this catamaran with this crazy gyro camera on board. So... <laughs> She's got to try to keep up. We watch the TV show like everybody else does. And you can't describe what you're seeing. You've got to describe what people at home are seeing. So it's pretty simple. Watch the show and tell people what you think is going on. These speeds are like never ever seen before, both in speed and angle. So they're tighter to the wind and they are fast, super fast. North Sales makes all the sales for three of the four teams. Southern Spars makes the mass in some structures on three of the teams. 
and Future Fibers uh, makes the cabling for all the teams. The diversity of North Technology Group is shown in the fastest boats in the world. So when you want the fastest boat in the world, everybody knows where to turn. So America's Cup is the biggest brand in, in our sport and the trickle down is real and it's going to trickle into all of our sales. And the, you know, the winning boat in the America's Cup has had North sales on it since 1983. So uh, that's exciting. That's fun.